What's up guys? This is the Brofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Kingdom of Bavaria. And so to pick up where we left off, we have this French force under Patrice Gullier, who have been landed off the coast and have marched within the within the bound well within range of the city of Paris. And we are absolutely going to intercept them because we will maul them significantly with this force. They have an army pretty much mostly militia and auxiliary troops, so we will be able to fairly easily um, cut them down. Hopefully, we've still got the the walls. We've still got the the breach in the walls, I should say, from the last battle before. Sometimes the AI can be a bit uh, slapdash as to whether or not walls get repaired. Sometimes they do just decide, uh, seemingly over after no time at all, to repair the walls. And other other times the breaches. Ha ha! So you're facing that way. Okay, let's get everyone. Out first. So I'm gonna want. Well, I'm gonna get. They've only got one artillery battery, so let's put two units of guns like so. To fire on the breach, fire it well off. And um, just place down some troops. Fundamentally, we don't. Let's cover all of the main areas first. Don't need to worry about necessarily who is going to go where. Just make sure every main position has troops. And that leaves us with quite a good amount actually. So let's take these four. Get the grand is inside the armory, because the AI does love to attack buildings. Actually, let's put one of you guys like so. One of you guys like so. I could occupy the building, but a unit deployed like this will provide much greater firepower in one direction. If, if you were kind of had to defend from multiple points, the command HQ makes sense, but as I'm trying to defend one breach, then having an actual line infantry unit positioned to engage is better. So we've got a demi cannon unit spare, we've got our cavalry and our general left, and we've also got three units of infantry. So let's put them. Put one over here, one over here, and then one as a reserve in the centre. So the main thing is we're making sure. Okay, so the a lot of troops are over here. Hessian line, Hessian line, Hessian line, colonial line. Okay, so strong line infantry position. There's their gun. One unit of demi cannons will take an awfully long time to try and make any extra extra breaches. And it looks like over here we've mostly got militia and their auxiliary troops. There's one unit of Hessian line that's taken a few casualties already. But I think these native warrior troops are going to get mightily upset. But one thing I do want to do is hop over to my militia and make sure they are on guard mode. There you go, everyone's taken their positions. Oh, sometimes it feels like the AI don't take their positions when they've not got anyone to shoot at. So is it, well, it's more of a theory rather than anything. So you've got a good number of troops that are going to push towards the breach. You can probably micromanage them more effectively, but I find it easier to just keep them... Keep the guns firing at the breach. The times might... It might result in a lot of waste, but in terms of a... From a micromanaging standpoint, it's a lot easier. So the first units that are going to hit the walls are warrior or native auxiliary units. Go on, 8th Regiment, make ready. Oh, they just shuffled. There they go. Yeah, militia are, <laughs> militia are perfectly adequate to defend the walls from most, um, most units, really. I mean, if the AI managed to scale the walls, then obviously that's different, but most of the time they just put on a lot of musket shots. And the enemy... The enemy take a lot of, uh, a lot of morale damage attacking walls. Especially if they run around like that and don't necessarily charge straight up. There's one unit of militia that's routing. A 
can't quite make up their mind what they want to do. These units are taking a lot of damage running along the front like this. She goes fire well off and then on again because I want you to man the cannons. They do a lot of damage but particularly do a lot of damage from a morale perspective. So there goes one native bowman unit. There we go. That, like that artillery shell slamming home there. There we go. They're routing. Oh. Native War Auxiliary are routing. No one's yet. Okay, now you guys can fire at will properly now. Now you've got an enemy to shoot at. Got a counter battery. Well, engage those bowmen. So the 11th Regiment will be the first regiment to make it to the wall. to stop this. Good. The noises that were made that are being made because they thought they had a actual melee combat to fight. So there goes the 11th. 6th are also routing. There's the 9th the 41st. Lots of these units will come back because they've not really lost that many men. But fundamentally you make them route then they take damage as they retreat, then they take damage as they come back in again. So even though you don't necessarily wipe them out, you will do enough damage in the long run. Ooh, two units might be trying to push in together. Let's see how the officer gets. Let's see how well the officer does trying to enter the square. So the grenadiers, make sure the grenadiers are guard mode on. It's canister shots coming in. Nope. Stuff for that. <laughs> and the officers made it. The flag carrier did not. Yeah, these units have all recovered quite nicely. General's bodyguards getting involved, maybe. So they're trying to blow through this section of the gate, of the wall rather, which if they do, that's not a problem. Hello, here comes another push. Let's see how the officer does again. Standard bearer is down. The officer is just standing here quite stoically. He's not been cut down by grape shot or musket fire. He's charging though. There he goes. Canister shot got him. Yeah, so... Manually... Coordinating the musket fire is probably the smart thing to do if you were really desperate to make sure that your um, troops were using well that your, that your artillery fire was as valuable and as effective as it can be then sure but for now we're actually we're pretty okay in my land van militia make ready in fire see the first regiment are almost routed before they even get into the fort 5th Regiment is shattered. Yeah, they're reforming and then trying to push again. Mm, those guys might actually make it to the... To the oh no, they won't. They're going to rout. These chaps with muskets will do enough damage to make them rout. Oh, they're shooting at those guys. I see. I mean, everyone else has been repulsed. Come the native Bowman Auxiliary. Canister shells coming, slamming home. Yeah. Chap dropped his tomahawk. The 15th Regiment can't really make up their mind of what it is they want to do. But they're just shaken, so they're going to get involved in a bit of a running gun battle. That's not going to work out very well for them, because my guys have a lot of cover. 11th Regiment have formed column, and they're going to try again. Oh, the militia, hey! Militia are actually attacking the wall. Take him out. 
the 11th Regiment. Uh, they've only got basic bayonets. Oh, they're, they're going to evade the canister fire. Some of it. The officer's still alive. He's there with his sword. Nope, they've had enough of that. <laughs> So the 4th Regiment are the first unit to actually get into a proper fight. But they're probably... well, they will hold them off. So you can call in the 6th Regiment for for support if we need to. They've already got 166 men remaining, so they've already... We already outnumber them. Neither the 6th have routed. So back here we've got Colonial Light plus an artillery unit plus their generals running around somewhere. There he is. Okay, let's take my Dragoons and a unit of cavalry and put them outside the wall. We'll take one of my Dragoons and a unit of cavalry, my infantry and a unit of cavalry. Kill a few more militiamen as they're on the wall. Apart from that though, format. And just begin some shooting. So here comes the natives. The fire burning crackly in the background. Canister shots gonna lash home. As are all the musketry as is all the musketry. Yeah, they got too close and they're shattered. Okay, so we got a bunch of stuff in the background over there. So I'm going to speed up time as I wander stuff nearby. Well, my, my infantry's here to make sure I... Everyone's routing, aren't they? <clears throat> that would appear to be the case. So let's just push people up. Get my infantry to run. Because they're just going to be a square fodder. Keep running, Dragoons. Run through the square. Now counter charge. Bit of a teleporting horse action down there. So there goes in my colonial light horse. Pursue them for a little bit. See if we can shatter them as best we can. Technically, we could probably outrun them. Again, my cavalry over against the general. Oh, there we go. Hurrah! So that force has been intercepted and shattered. Oh, they've lost just over half their force. Nice. And they only killed 47 of our men, so our army is actually really quite nicely intact. So we can pursue and destroy them. Meanwhile, everyone's just fortifying in the east. Not a problem, we should be getting a decent amount of cash this turn. And as I slowly start to build up my troops in the east, we can start to go on the damn offensive. I want to try and secure Paris, well, the French region. Maybe try and make peace with the French, if they will let me. I don't want to push against Britain, I don't want to push against Spain, I want to push against Poland and the Ottomans. I want to try and carve out a little niche so we can take a breather and potentially get some colonial action going. Oh, and retake Copenhagen. Retake Copenhagen and attack Denmark. Taking Paris is particularly valuable Valuable because it does give me ports on the west coast of Europe. So we've got... that's a pirate unit. A rebel unit, sorry, not pirates. Quite an elite unit, actually. So anyway, this force here can replenish. It's a lot of cash, actually. Yeah. Okay, so... I mean, down here I'm quite strong, but just in case, because a lot of Polish troops. I'm going to take that militia unit and these troops over to Berlin. Let's build a sloop. 
replenish the Prushenk horse so I can at least free them up. But I don't think I can actually recruit anything while they're being blockaded. Um, okay, so 5,400 cash. Actually got a Asian recruited. Yeah, that's the rake here. So you go to infiltrate Madrid. Oh, no, I don't, no, I don't want to I don't want to annoy the French. The Spanish, sorry. So go to Clausenberg. Um, you're, gonna, you're just going to hold. You're just going to keep an eye on the Ottomans here. So actually, Munich, you might pick up two Freikorps units. You're in quite good condition. But you could probably do with... Let's get some Grenadiers. We're going to start to build up this army in Prague. So that down the line I can attack, push back a bunch of their troops while still having some some uh, armies to guard the the uh, this northern Europe section here against the Polish. These with eleven hundred left, which we're going to build basic roads in Brussels, actually, or are we? Yes, probably. That's probably the best idea in the long run. Actually, no, we're not. Because we're going to take, well, fundamentally, you guys have just got a bunch of, take a selection of troops and go attack Bastien Pascal. Let's go wipe out the remaining French army here. Hopefully, we can attack and destroy this force and then immediately on the heels of that try to go for peace with the French Empire. Because we've got a French army in the west towards Brest, it's only militia. But if we can make peace, that would be even better, because then we've only got to fight one rebel army, and then Paris as a region is under our control. Get my guns up behind me on the hill. Get my infantry formed up. General's not going to get involved. Fundamentally, we got lots of shooty firepower. So let's take our right flank, drive our advantage on the right flank home quickly. My demi cannon just lob shells, lob shells from back here. Maybe well, there's no real focus. Most of their troops will break pretty rapidly here. We got fifth regiment of line. I don't want to get rid of my militia because they're just doing, they're doing okay. I don't think I'll rec I won't recruit any more militia, but the ones I've got I'll keep. So the fifth regiment are going to open up against the twenty seventh. Ah, curse you! Vo rain battle, <clears throat> rain during battles. I'm just gonna have a drink. <clears throat> Very, very unprofessional. Oh, there we go. He might get sun back. It, it just, it just gets very much spottier during rainy battles. Let's actually, get the general out here. Might try and get some experience with him. Get the guns to focus on the enemy's center of gravity. Third regiment of line. Third regiment of foot are doing a good job. As are the sixth. Fundamentally, my infantry is rather elite. Uh, the seventh are taking some hits. Getting the cavalry to chase down the thirteenth. The thirty-seventh have broken. Push out my line infantry, push out my militia, push up into the woods, take this small copse. There they are, lads, through the trees. Push my general's bodyguard up. Get the 5th regiment to advance into this clearing. So imagine being one of these fellas. Bavarians. Bavarians in front of you. 
Bavarians on your flank, Bavarians to the rear. Troops routing in all directions. Yeah, my generals hit the 6th regiment. Come in, general. So we probably don't need to worry about actually killing the enemy because they, we've got them trapped. Cease fire with the guns because we might have one of the last actual... might have their, their target destroyed soon. So they've slammed into the 5th regiment. Yes. Down you go. Native Bowman Auxiliary. Come on, let's just bring my boat, bring my archers over to deal with that. My actual line. Just get them to run into position. Bring my general over as well. Go on, General, Mr. Tauber. We can try and break this native bow line. They're already running from the charging dragoons. They've been blunted by the first regiment of foot getting in the way. Go get him, General's bodyguard. He got him. Hey! There's more of you around than I thought. Charge on like like true cavalrymen. Yeah, General's bodyguard's got another level of experience. My guns to engage that regiment of bowmen. Although to be honest, I should probably Oh no, native warrior auxiliary. No 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 no. Flee cavalry. I just spent all this time getting my general some experience. I'm not going to throw it away. The gun's having a sh having a pop. Advance. Ooh, so it's all down to the... Oh, the native bowman unit came back. So push my cavalry around. The flank... Come on, 18th Regiment, make ready. Ah, uh, they routed. Go on, 5th Regiment, make ready. Guns engage the bowmen. Uh, sound issues. Good shot, though. I came arcing in. There we go. They've been broken. Experience. Gone. Back for tea and medals. Gongs all round, fellas. Nice. Let's see if a loss of an entire French army within a turn gets us some... We can take advantage of it on the negotiating table. Ooh, and I can trade with Sweden. First of all... Yes! Peace with the French. But now we're friendly. Oh, they did like us before. No, they don't want to trade with us, but what about Sweden? They're allied with the French, they might say no. I am not giving you fire by rank, no sir. Very well, Mr. Tower. So if I don't select the guns, I can get everyone into the city. Not although it's very much, much of a muchness, because they're not going to go anywhere yet. Um, so that army's teleported back to French territory. There's a unit of rebels out here I need to deal with. You're recruiting, or should recruit, a militia... Actually, no, you're going to recruit a sloop. I should really recruit a regular militia unit over here to occupy Laves. I don't want to repair the port because you, in your little floyd, might just break it. Ancillary gained Mr. Tower. Patriotic sword. Good. So his... Command potential is going up, and he's only 33, so he might be around for some time. You're on your way east. You're just, your job is to just to block the Ottomans. So now we've made 
peace with the French, well, I mean, the, the Brits could just land that army and attack me in Paris. I don't, I'm not going to move my army in Paris East. Um, I want All I want to do is attack the rebels, they can garrison the city, and I can start to try and shore up some of my uh, territories and buildings. Garrison my ports. Upgrade the roads so I can more easily respond to threats. It's only a matter of time for Poland. Well, we've been quite lucky because Poland's been very aggressive most of this campaign, but for whatever reason, the last few turns, they've decided not to really kind of bother. Same with the Ottomans. They're bringing up more troops, but we are strengthening our economy faster <clears throat> than they can bring up troops to bear. Yeah, carrying on the cat and mouse game. Actually, when I get, bring this guy back to... Munich, he can pick up the last two units of uh, uh, Freikor to complete his army, actually. Yeah, I gotta watch out for Copenhagen. They might surprise us. Not Copenhagen, the Mughals. We are gonna take back Denmark. I'm not gonna let them keep it, no sir. Come at us, rebels. They're not going to come at us. Okay, socket bayonet researched. Great. Gag of cadence drumming. Campaign map movement speed still useful. Really what I need to do is go for... Okay, first of all... You guys... You are replenishing, so let's go for military academy. Just to make sure we don't get bottlenecked on research. Uh, let's get a... So we've recruited a militia unit. So you can go to Le Havre while the guns come up to the city. Now we can repair the port, which is going to be an expensive purchase, but it's going to be worth it. The tax bonuses. So we've recruited the sloop here, so now my pushing horse can get over to Berlin. You carry on pushing. I'm hoping I can exert a certain amount of control over this crossing. I may not be able to. So 1600, which is not very much. You men push on to Berlin as well. Two grenadiers push on to Prague. That's a decent little force there now. Okay, let's take Mr. Wolfgang Tobelmann. He's going to advance east against Kor Malvana and draw in no, just one unit of Muslim. Uh, behind him, lots of Zimandari horsemen, so we're going to want to use our guns. Skirmish cavalry is tricky because we don't get to use fire by rank. We just fire our muskets willy-nilly. And we also... Uh, muskets aren't actually as good as archers. So we will win, but they will do a lot of damage to an infantry unit in a one-on-one -on -one match. So what I want to use is my demi cannons in the line. So let's put actually put my some. No, I don't want. I don't want to bunch up. Two units in the center. Two Freikor. Two line on one flank. Two Freikor, Grenadier and Guard Infantry on the left. Let's make a Militia Brigade. They stick together. With more cavalry support. With my Hussars on the right flank, General in the centre. So... I mean, to be honest, this is not... This is a bit of a funky... layout. Okay, you guys can advance up the right quite aggressively there, then. So I've got my, my troops spread out to maximise the amount of muskets we've got to bring to bear against their cavalry, should they elect to bring it to bear. Push you near Prushenk horse out wide. Unlimber the guns. 
We can push this unit of Israeli out from our flanking manoeuvre here. Some of the units... Oh, they are advancing. Get my militia to run. Okay, so I chose the complete wrong time to maneuver them. Okay, these guys should deal with that covering it. They're wavering already, they've not even lost anyone. There we go, volley as they crested the hill. Did the trick. Pursue the horsemen with my light cavalry just to chase them off the field for good. Bring in my light horse. Okay, they, my light horse to chase down the horsemen as well. My guys have more stamina than their cavalry, so if we chase them off, they will go. We do need to match their match their boldness with boldness from my infantry, though. You guys might get countercharged. Bring my Prushenk horse into the mix. Get them into the Muslim. There you go. Charge my infantry right up into the face of the Israeli. Let them know what true European musketry means. Ah! One of their horsemen units came back and hit my guns. Boo! You men about face. Get my general out of there. Okay, bring my cavalry all the way back over here. Same with you guys, bring you guys back. You men attack the horsemen. Fold up the enemy flank. There we go, they've routed again. So new men about face. Counter charge the Muslim, my line infantry. Yeah, their actual, their actual troops are a bit buggered. You guys round shot the Muslim as they come in. Get some more cavalry round to the rear. You men charge in the back of the Israeli. They're doing a bit too much damage to my militia. I want that unit of Muslim to die quickly. We slammed into the back of these Israeli. There they go. Units of cavalry to charge the Janissaries, there's not many of them left. You men can charge that unit of Israeli. Trouble is, you've just not got enough firepower brought to bear against the enemy cavalry. You men chase them down. Both you men chase the Janissaries down because those guys are going to engage the enemy second order. Some friendly fires causing some morale problems here. 
unit of dragoons chased down an Israeli unit. You chased down them. My militia counter charged that unit of Muslim, which made them rout. There we go. Deploy, General. Let us pursue. We are facing against a an enemy which we cannot allow to reform. So you men you chased on them, you chased on them, you withdraw. My general gets to charge down the 26th regiment of or well, 26th Orta Israeli unit. So you try go after go after that Muslim unit. Sort of actually you might try help these men go after the 18th because they're spread out. My general's bodyguard, however, continues to gain experience through the slaughter of Ottoman troops. Hurrah! Go on, try and knock out the 18th. They're spread out quite a lot, though. My general's bodyguard could potentially be doing a bit of a better job than what he's currently doing. That's more like it. Just keep on right clicking, keep on fixing the pathfinding. Down to 64 men. You guys come over and help. 42, 38, 37, 36. So I've not split them up because I just want my. I want, uh, to be honest, this is. I might actually split them up. Because <laughs> that unit spread out massively and they finally routed. Okay, all of you attack the 26th. There's only five left. One last fella. Down he goes. So that's an Ottoman prong that's been blunted. We'll be sent scuttling back to Austria. So you may replenish as well as you can. This force will, will soon go and attack Pilsen farmland and eventually push on to Os Osman Satki. Satchi. And let's take the the, uh, the general, or well, the garrison of Paris out to attack Fabrice Nafi. Then we will also destroy the rebels. Hopefully see the end of them. And then we can start to rebuild Paris. Because right now we'll rebuild France. Because most of Paris is just broken. Not, not, you know, uh, not just underperforming. It's all just uh, been raided. I want, to send an, I want to build up a bit of a front line against the French in northern Italy. Get my guns trailed up to the top of the hill. Got an infantry unit in the front. I liked my idea of that militia brigade, actually. So they got they got good infantry. So surround and destroy. Try and pursue with with my general as much as I can. There we go. And then just set everyone up. See, they've got guns, but I've got more, so if they elect to sit back and try and play the artillery game, there's only one way that's going to go. Let's speed up time. Looks like they've, just, they've accepted the reality of their situation. Yeah, they are going to pick at me, but my guns, you know... The standard behaviour of A of uh, artillery, if you leave them to their own devices, is to go for the enemy's guns. Enemy generals being killed. He was the commanding, commanding one of those artillery units. Oh yeah, so there's a French unit guard, Swiss. 
French rebel unit, Swiss grenadiers, Bilkley's regiment, West European mercenaries, line infantry, fusilier, guerrilla mercenary, front line, run. Get into position because they might have fire by rank by now. The pirates do, the rebels do I should say. Fusiliers are a bit scary. To be honest, we have significantly more fire by rank, and most of our firepower hasn't even been deployed yet. We have a significant contingent of our army that hasn't even been deployed yet. So they are going to get in are going to get surrounded. Let's get the demi cannons engaging the fusiliers to try and break get all my artillery, to be honest, to try and break the fusiliers. There goes the guard Swiss, they've lost a hundred men. Get everyone around quickly. Well, as quickly as, they, as we can, to be honest, I don't think their front line is going to really hold against my troops. They're going to put up, a, put up a valiant effort, but it's still going to be for nothing. Let's pick a fairly good unit here, although they're all tired. Cease fire the artillery, all of it. Cease fire you chaps. Okay, try get you guys to go after the guard Suisse first. It's only one unit of line infantry holding in the centre. No, they've routed two. Okay, you guys can carry on shooting now. Good, and we are going to continue because these are these are rebels. Fusiliers are a good unit. If we can knock them out, the guard Swiss would be just a bonus. The fusiliers are actually the bonus. The guard Swiss are the main event. Could do with more cavalry in this army, really. Well, when I've got more time, I will want to do some reorganization and rationalization on the Eastern Front. Go on, there's one last guardsman. Get him. Got him. Handful of fusiliers. Try hit the Swiss Grenadiers, you're gonna get a good few of them actually before they rout. Not not bad actually, they're down to Hey, you might get them now, they've routed away from the edge of the map. You got them. Nice work. So help my general go after the fusiliers. There we go. Decisive victory against the French rebels. Nice. So let's see if they survive. They've only got 388 men remaining. Obviously they survive, but if I take my army, less my guns... Mr. Nino? Yeah, auto-resolve that. Fall back to Paris. Now we can, st we can begin to rebuild. Although, to be honest, everything looks mostly... Well, to be honest, if I've got... A, well, I've got a coaching in and a pleasure gardens. Uh, hmm. If I want to build that into a school, then I probably do want two happiness buildings. But I can't actually repair anything. Above 144 gold. That's pretty darn good. Okay. Well, two, we need to upgrade you. You are being upgraded. Coburg is also being upgraded. We also need to upgrade some military buildings. Okay, let's hit end turn. 
Ooh. Don't, don't, don't sail and land in too, too long. Ooh. Yes, Britain's at war with the French still. Oh, if only I could have some colonies. If only. It's a sizable French navy. Let's hope they get destroyed by some other party. Sooner or later we will be at war with Spain, but I'm hoping I can rebuild Paris. Although, although actually we're in, we've got fairly good relations with Spain. There's a whole Polish stack right there. Yeah, we need to sink money into my economy, we need to sink money into my forces in the east. And we need to begin knocking back some of these troops. To be honest, the, the, Os the Ottomans are a natural target. Especially as they seem reluctant to push now. We've gained enough strength that they don't want to actually uh, conduct offensive operations against us. Which is ideal. So, let's get ready to rebuild France. To be honest, we don't actually need to sit in Paris. But you, well, you don't need to sit in it, but you will. Because where we can't sit down here because that leaves us exposed to the Spanish and from Britain, British troops coming over the horizon. So we're going to repair the dock. I'm going to build another militia unit to go out and occupy Brest. Let's focus on mines, water mills, well, all the industrial buildings first. Although that did suck up a lot of capital. That sucked up a lot of capital, but it's going to be worth it because France is immediately got an extra 2,300 um, region wealth from repairing those industrial buildings. We haven't even built roads yet. Can you guys get up to Berlin? Provide a bit of an extra garrison. You guys can quickly knock out just that small Polish army there. See you in replenish and get back to Prague. Because ideally, I want you to replenish, knock out Osman's force and drive him east. And then you guys can maybe go east here and threaten some of the Polish territory here near Breslau. You, Ismail, might actually go... Wait, to be honest, there's nothing else better for you to go for, really. Successful mission. Zagreb. That's just about providing visibility. We've got Marseille down here, which actually I could probably do with recruiting another militia unit to go down there. Although, actually, you're in good condition. But I've rep I'm starting to build everything, so... Yeah, can't really do much about that. But if I can build... Oh, oh don't, don't land in Brest. Don't land in... Oh. Okay. We are going to have to land and take the British Isles. But I'm wondering if we can actually make a peace with them. The French will never rest. They've been pushed away out of their lands, but they will never give up. Oh, okay, right. <gasps> okay, Poland's on the move. Started. It has started. So you start pumping out more troops. Although, it's tempting, very tempting, to pull out of Prague, let them take it, then just siege the city. Because then that will deplete their forces, while at the same time pinning a 
Polish army inside the fort. Oh, there's a gentleman in Paris. Okay, well, you're going to go sit in orderly or ready for wed, ready for uh, research duties. Let's recruit another militia. Paris immediately, massive amount of income jumped up there. I mean, we definitely want France to be in good condition. No, actually, you can you can just recruit a sloop rather than wasting time doing this. So you're being repaired. We can repair the pleasure garden. Don't really need the seminary. Not at this part of the not in this part of the world. Could upgrade you to a school, but not yet because here come the Polish. That's quite a decent little army, actually. Very well. Let's combine some of our weaker units together. You men fall back from Prague. Prague's not worth very much to us at all. So let them take it. One of our 3rd Regiment of Dragoons is going to get promote, promoted. Balthazar Faber. Very well. So you can collect. Got five units. Maybe that. You men form up. Okay, you men get a last bit of cash to replenish yourselves. 940 gold. Build up a farm. Actually, I should probably. Let's replenish the great arsenal. Okay. See if we can trade with Sweden again. Probably not, because they're actually socket bayonet, flintlock cannon, and a grand. Eh. Okay. I mean, I was probably a. I gave him socket bayonet for. Ah, oh, flintlock cannon. Actually, that was pretty dumb. Oh well. So we've got college. His has been upgraded, which is good. Should probably even out the gentleman somewhat. Let's get Moltke up to Vismar. Okay, one more turn. So I want you guys to take Prague. They've got troops in reserve, but I want Mr. Tobelman, when he's fully replenished, could do it now. Ideally, I want to hold this bridge. Now let's wait. Let's wait for Poland to take Prague. I can bottle up their troops in the garrison, knock out the Ottoman force, and hold my position on the bridge. And then, yeah, we can continue to move forward in the east. For, ooh, Savoy are rebelling against the French. Interesting. Poland is moving up in force. They are moving up in force. Are they going to go for the trap? N no. Okay. Interesting. They'd elected to do that. Mm, the Ottomans and the Polish have massed. Interesting. Still, we are going to expand our forces. We're going to get some heavy. We'll try and get some heavier cavalry. Yeah. Oh, the oh, they were, oh the <gasps> the Danes may have cocked up magnificently there. They've moved their blockade, but we might get more money. Oh God, fifteen thousand. God, look at that. Because they left, <laughs> they blockaded my Spanish trade route. Now the rest of mine came in. Beautiful. So very beautiful. Okay, so we've got the next level university. So I don't think they can get through these trees. Oh no, they can get through these trees. Huh. Hmm. 
We well, you men attack Mr. Hussein to make your way across. I want to see where they go. So we can't recruit much in Dresden, but Berlin... I mean, to be honest, it's like heavy... I can get Lancer Guards, Horse Grenadier Guards, Kaiserian Horse Grenadier... I mean, in terms of Val Dragoons, they are heavier cavalry than Val Dragoons. Okay, let's get Leibgarde Trabaten and a unit of engineers plus to get one Kaiser in Horse Grenadier and then one unit of Lancer Guards to bolster this army. Then actually, well, I'll say actually, let's try and get everyone up to at least cobbled roads, which I think we are at that level. We still have a Berlin, but I don't want to aid mo enemy movement through my land, but to be honest, it's probably not as dangerous as it otherwise could be. Let's upgrade. New upgrade. Governor's residence. Positive six. We can afford to build a school, and we can afford to build a craft workshop. You men get up to Brest, because that now gives us access to ships of the line. Not sure. I think, realistically, I should try and beef up this army to the south as well. You got a few militia units, which I could be, I could do with getting rid of. Like to be honest, I could do with heavy, uh, well, better artillery than demi cannons. But there we go. If they come at us, they'll be slaughtered. It looks like Mr. Royos Royostek is going to hit Prague. Still, as long as I hold France. Which I do. Which has now gone from providing about, you know, two grand income to five thousand. Which is huge. In terms of diplomacy, let's see if we can trade with the French, sadly not. And we won't be able to trade with the Swedes. Oh, they've gone for it. Good, okay. What about if I do trade... And I offer sextant. Because I don't care if you move your ships. Ah, okay. Trade, tank, sextant, naval shore facilities, because they have no dockyards anyway. Ah, oh, you meanie. Tr trade with the Barbary States. Now, people will hate me then. Okay, let's hit end turn. See the enemy build up. Yeah, there go the rest, the remaining uh, Savoyard rebels. That's not bad. Because we fight this army plus this force here. Actually, that's 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 pretty good. Because my army can run to wherever these guys are coming in. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time with this not quite so well planned fight. Because um, <laughs> I didn't really count on the Dresden garrison getting involved, I was hoping I could just wipe, kill as many as I can in Prague and then do a counter fight. But actually this isn't a bad fight to be in, I think. Um, but anyway, looking at the timer, it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, I'll see you next time for the defence of Prague. Cheers everyone.